Now, when you see the blood circulation within the spleen, so there are uh, different theories. Uh, so they say some uh, spleen, uh, the spleen has, uh, human spleen has open circulation. So some men to know if they have a closed circulation. And some textbooks mention that uh, our human spleen uh, has both open and closed circulation. So what do you mean by this open and closed circulation? <coughs> As I mentioned earlier, splenic artery, uh, which uh, enters through the hilum of the spleen and uh, they branch in the trabecular and those branches are called as trabecular artery, so which you can see in the, in the picture labeled over there. So from the trabecular artery, uh, the central arteriole branch, okay, so the central arteriole, so it's not central artery, uh, the smaller branches are called as arteriole. Uh, the central arteriole, uh, they pass through the white pulp, okay, and when they are before passing to the white pulp, they are uh, surrounded by a uh, lymphoid sheath that is periarteriolar lymphoid sheath. And within the white pulp, again, they give uh, branches which passes through the white pulp area and uh, they, are, <coughs> they enter the marginal zone sinuses. And the central arteriole leaves the white pulp area, okay, and then they enter the red pulp. You can see in the picture over there. So it is leaving the white pulp area and entering the red pulp area. So once it enters the red pulp area, they you won't be seeing any lymphoid sheath around it. <coughs> once it uh, enters the red pulp area, so in the red pulp, so now uh, the circulation will be either open or closed. So in the red pulp, the central arteriole again gives small branches, small straight branches, which are called as pencilar arterioles. You can see in the red pulp area over there, the central uh, arteriole, they are, from the central arteriole, there are small tiny branches which are straight and these are called as pencilar arteriole. So these uh, 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 pencilar arteriole later forms the capillaries, okay, and in close circulation, these uh, capillaries directly enter the sinuses, the venous sinuses, okay, which are where the blood flows from the capillaries into the sinuses which are enclosed by an endothelium, okay. So there you can see a, a circle over there which is labeled as closed circulation where the capillaries from the pencilar uh, arteriole directly enter the sinuses, the splenic sinuses which are enclosed by the endothelium. So this type of circulation is called as closed circulation. The open circulation is where the blood is directly, uh, they flow into the splenic, the, the splenic parenchyma, uh, not into the, then from the blood from the splenic uh, parenchyma, it's taken up by the venous sinuses and then they pass through the vein. So this is open circulation. So you can see in the other down in the picture showing the open circulation where the capillaries of the pencilar arteriole directly oozes out the blood into the red pulp area. Okay, and then the blood travels to the sinuses. Okay, from there it goes to the sinuses and these sinuses later they are connected to the, uh, the trabecular veins. Okay, the sinus enter the trabecular veins and then the blood uh, passes to the splenic vein. Again, it exits through the <coughs> hilum of the spleen and the splenic vein joins with superior mesenteric vein to form the portal vein. So, this picture shows the open and the closed circulation occurring in the spleen. Okay, <coughs> so though uh, the blood uh, is represented red in color both, okay, so the Left hand side shows the trabecular, uh, the arterial circulation. The right hand side is showing the vein. Okay, so it starts from the splenic artery, then uh, either open and closed circulation, then it goes to the, uh, exits through the uh, splenic vein. <coughs> so that completes the histology of spleen. So if the spleen is focused under the microscope and you should be, uh, if you are asked to, uh, state the identifying features of the spleen. So you have to mention capsule, you have trabeculate, then you see white pulp area with the central arteriole, then you see red pulp area which consists of the splenic cord and uh, the splenic sinuses. Okay, and in the white pulp, again there are three parts. So <clears throat> the central arteriole which are surrounded by 
periarteriolar uh, lymphoid sheath then you see the lymphatic nodule or lymphatic follicle and you uh, you see a marginal zone so these are the identifying uh, microscopic features of spleen then you should also know what what is open circulation and also closed circulation so i have taken the picture uh, downloaded the picture from these two website thank you